Hi everybody, this is a get ready with me as you saw. Um, using my new products that I got from Debbie Duncan, which I will put her name again in the description bar. It is 3 o'clock on a Saturday, you know, I get up. I was so proud of myself. I did a 50 minute upper body workout, so I'm feeling pumped. And then I cleaned my house, I took a nap. It's like my husband's in a tree. We're going to go out to dinner tonight, so... This video will be probably in, well, in one and a half videos because I had a special request from a subscriber, Catherine W., um, and she wanted, excuse me, to see the new lipsticks that I got from Debbie um, tried on, not just swatches. So when I finish with my face, I'm going to do another video um, with changing up the lipsticks, okay, just so you know. And then my outfit of the day because last week um, in my video I showed you my poncho that I got and my leggings. We didn't get to go to the art show because my mom was sick again and I needed to go over and take care of her. She's doing much better. She has a urinary tract infection now. She went back to the hospital on Friday. But with the antibiotics, she's doing much better. So all of you with your kind thoughts, thank you very, very much. So today my husband and I are going out to dinner because he didn't feel good Thursday too. And then last night I just I made some some food and we just kind of hunker down and watch TV so tonight he's in a tree and my house is cleaned and I got my shower and I'm going to get dressed so I'm going to wear that outfit tonight so I will show you that so I'm sitting here at my thing I'm watching on my iPad as we go I'm telling you guys it's it's like my background music ready okay shop HQ Skin Cosmetics, Dimitri. And yes, I bought something today. I'm just going to tell you I did. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you what I bought. Just know that I really like like these. Okay? And there's a new collection. So, I know I'm rambling. I, I will be going fast, you know, through all this. So, without further ado, let's get started. I've got all my lotions and potions on. Um, I've, I'm really liking... I can't wear this when it's warm. I'm just telling you I can't. It's way too emollient for me. I have combination skin. There's no question in my mind. And in the summer, I am I sweat and I'm oily. In the winter, dark, I mean heavy winter, I'm really dry around here. But I found, but I love my Celebration Foundation. So I got a sample of the It's CC Cream and I love the combination when it's cold. I'm waiting to see that uh, I will repurchase this. I'm waiting to see a, a, a special value on it or something like that on the website or on QVC. I'm not quite sure, but I don't like to pay full price or I don't like to pay shipping and I don't like not to get freebies. So I'm, I'm on the verge of waiting to get something free with this. So we're going to put this on first. The coverage is really, really good, I have to say. Come on, come on. Dot it, dot it, dot it. I'm in the medium. It is heavier than most BBCC creams, but again, that is for the coverage of it. As you can see, it covers really, really well. Now, with other BB creams, I, uh, I don't go under my eyes. With this one, I just go like, I just tap. That's all I do, just to get a little bit of that hydration, okay? I use my Real Techniques buffing brush. Since I've been <clears throat> doing this combo more, um, I have been wishing my brushes more. I know. Really? Okay. Women that are my age, did you really use makeup brushes back in the day? No, you didn't. I don't think you did. And I never washed them. Never in a million years did I wash them. All right. However, so when I get ready sometimes, I start getting hot flashes. I know it's weird. I've got my window open right here. So I wait to put on my Celebration Foundation until this settles a little more, just because it is much more emollient than any other BBCC DD cream I've used. But that's what I need this time of year to be able to use my Celebration Foundation. So now I'm going to go right into my eyes. Use Soft Ochre or Painterly. I just grab one out. This happens to be soft ochre. I 
fingers. So I'll go in and I'll melt what I just put on. All right. I do need kind of like a base, so I'm going to grab my Naked Basics palette. <clears throat> and I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm going to use my lid all over my lid, all the way up to my brow bone. guys I've been looking at my um, royal palette that I got my from Lorac and from what I'm wearing today I feel the Queen palette will be the best these are like a suede kind of like a like a suede um, not well velveteen I guess velveteen uh, texture on these palettes so that's really kind of cool these are your colors okay Let's swatch them real quick. We've got one, two, three, four. There you go. I think this is going to work perfect with my... There's one. Go in with this. Pop that on my lid a little bit. God, they're all like really, really soft. Really, really soft. Okay. And I'm going to go with this rich kind of like a burgundy wine color into my crease this does have a little sparkle in it this particular one can you see a shimmer but for the evening I think it's fine series I guess you could say I put the basic on first just kind of like a mid and then I'll go in with my liner it just seems to work best for my liners what I'm going to be using I did that um, I'm trying to use up these remember this is the cargo swimmable um, it is swimmable and it looks works really well in the waterline so that's all I'm going to use it for from now on is in the waterline so this probably won't be used up but that's what I'm going to use it for so let's do this. What I'm going to do for the lash line, since I am wearing the black and the burgundy, I am going to go ahead and use a black liner. And I'm going to use the Fergie Wet n Wild, which this is another phenomenal liner. When this empties, when this goes dry or whatever, I will be purchasing the it because I just love 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 the it we're gonna use we're gonna use this one uh, it might be a little thick but we'll try it we'll try it that's the whole point of it right we're gonna use this one when I put gel liner on I always use an angled brush because I push it I push it in I don't drag it it just works so much better so let's go in with a little of this Push, push, push. Underneath my eye, and I don't want it. So, what I'm going to use is, um, who was it? Was it Mary Ellen or L? Um, recommended this. It's the Elf, but I don't know how to clean it, but it still works. It takes off any excess underneath your eye. Kind of like a pin. I don't know. There you go. Okay, <clears throat> so that's that. And then we're going to go back with um, a little bit more of on the lid. So I'm going to take, which I'm sure is looks like this. It's kind of a liner brush, I guess, but to me it's a little thick for liner. So I'm going to go in with that darker color and set this. I always set my gel liner with a powder. This to me will make it last so much more. These are kind of, they're not very sturdy. They're kind of loose, but hey, it worked, right? So then what I'm going to do, I'll probably go under my eye. I'm going to use this one with that kind of like a burgundy color just a little a little smoky like I said we are going to go out to dinner 
There we go. There we go. Then let's go back in and reapply <clears throat> some more of that burgundy right in here. It is, I don't want to say total burgundy, but it is pretty much of a burgundy. <clears throat> then I'm going to go back in with <clears throat> a little bit of a darker, uh, this darker color, a very, very outer V. Very creamy. There's a bit of fallout, but not tons. like this. I'm going to go back into the second color right here and pop it on my lid right in the center and over. And into the inner corner. Good. First one. Go right up in here. Just under the eyebrow. All right, kind of like that. That's cool. So that's with that. All right. So next, what I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my face. I've already hit pan. Oof. I don't want to see that in uh, magnification. That's for sure. I do like it. I think that color is going to be good with what I'm wearing today. I never go, oh, I always go around the bag. I don't want this in my uh, under my eye. Not a full fledged part of it, no. Because it will dry it out. I just, that's just me. But the help with the CC cream really, really helps um, make it not so dry around my eyes. Because this is where it dries, right in here. I've also decided something else <clears throat> insofar as the products that I'm trying to use up for the year. I have been trying to use up the Chocolate Soleil Too Faced. I'm going to stop. Reason being is, hello, look at this. This to me is the perfect travel bronzer. Why go with a big bronzer when you have this to travel with? So I'm not going to use it anymore. I'm just going to say. So it's going back into my drawer and I will use it when I travel. So we're going to use a different bronzer. It sculpted. You can see that I've used a lot of it. <clears throat> okay. I'm using Sedona Lace brush and I'll probably go in with this one down here. <clears throat> Suck it in. I start mid and go back. Now a lot of people say go like this. That's fine. You can do that because you want it the darkest up in here. I don't know. I just kind of like it like this way. So that's what I do. Okay. Temples. Huge bald forehead. Okay. Then I'm going to go into this shade. This lighter one here. With the same brush. I just kind of use this brush. Go right under my nose. I got a long hook nose. Well, no, not. It could be worse. Did you know that when you die, your nose still grows? Okay. And then I'm just going to have a little dab here. I have a thin nose, so I don't really want to thin it out anymore. I just want to make it look a little more lifted. So that's kind of what I'm going to do there. All right. And then I'm going to go into this darker color. And it's not as dark as you guys. Eh, it's pretty dark. But if you blend it out. You can see it, but what? It's 
It's like contour. Okay? It gets my chin a little bit back. And then I always pull it down the next color over down the rest of my neck. So my neck looks like it's receding and not coming forward. There you go. Another tip. All right. <clears throat> All right. The next thing I thought the same thing is for my highlight. Perfect travel size, my Stila, what I've been trying to use up. I've got bigger ones, so I'm going to go back to my bigger ones. I'm going to go back to my um, Signature Club A, but I am trying to use this up, my NYX, and I've almost, I'm doing pretty good on that. Once you get down to a certain, once you get down to a certain level of blushes, you can't really dig in there, especially if you have nails. See how it's kind of barely? So I'm just taking this foundation brush and using that. Again, don't go, don't go like this because then you're going to put it here and then it's going to go down here. Don't smile when you put on your blush. Just say no. Okay? Then I've got, this is what I just used to blend this. I'm watching right now. Okay. I'm going to set that with powder blush. I've done a really good job of hitting pan on that one. I always have always done this. I don't know if you should, but I always go up onto my temple. I just do. Alright, now for the highlight. <clears throat> I have this brush. This pan. This is a cream. Cream. I wouldn't use a cream if it's warm outside. I just wouldn't. There we go. Ta-da! Alright. I haven't brushed my teeth yet. This is a trick I saw on HSN using a different mascara. But I really understand what they were saying for it. So this isn't my... This isn't my trick. This is something that I've seen. Of course, you know I love my They're Real by Too Faced or Benefit. It's the rubber wand with the ball. Okay? One time, one dip. Do not double dip. Okay? Reason being is that you're going to re wet it, and if you re wet it, it makes it more clumpy. Just saying. Go down as far as you can, lift it, okay, and then lift it up. Go to the next eye, as far as you can, lift it up. Now watch, I'm not done. Okay, bottom, and make sure you get some on your nose. Bottom, okay. Now go back with this again, and go mid shaft. There you go. One dip. Do not double dip. All right, next thing. Let's go with some eyebrows. And I'm never going to waver for this. <clears throat> this is the eyebrow stuff that I've used for years. I will always use it. I love it. It's my Joan Rivers. Um, just love it. It's funny. I went to school a couple weeks ago, and I forgot to put my eyebrows on. And I went into first hour, I saw it when I got into my classroom and I went to first hour to the teacher. I'm like, oh my God, I totally forgot to put my eyebrows on. She looked at me like I was some kind of an alien. She wears no makeup at all. And she's 25. Next, <clears throat> next we are going to concealer. I, this probably will be my last, I don't know if you can see the light through it. Probably not. There's a light through it. There you can see right there. <clears throat> this is almost empty. Um, yeah, I might cut it, but I got other concealers. Um, 
So this is, I'm definitely going to be getting rid of this too. See how I'm pushing that? There we go. Uh, yeah, okay. Little tiny bit. One, two, three. Up. Make a triangle. Pat. Blend. Make sure you use your pinky. A little bit. One, two, three. Whoop. Three. Blend. Melt. Melt, melt, melt. It's weird watching videos that people do things in separate, um, different ways. I don't know, it's just kind of funny to see people <clears throat> do one thing in one time and then somebody else put something on earlier and it's just kind of strange. You know what I want to do? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to up it just a little bit here with this eye. <clears throat> I'm going to go back and take a little more of that color. Again, I'm not going to put uh, my lips on. You'll see my lips in the next video, but that is uh, it's my face. That's what I did, and I love all the products that I've used. Just saying. All right. I hope that was helpful. I hope that was informative, and that you enjoyed watching what I put on. All right. Have a great day. See ya.